Asterion is like Fenris. Asterion is like Zevron. Gale is like Anders. Gale is more similar to Dorian. You fools, there exists a far more well-founded and far better one-to-one -one comparison. Spoiler warning. For the endgame of both BG3 and Dragon Age Inquisition, it's Solace and the Emperor. Main character is dying from a strange and unknowable power. Here is the humble stranger with unique knowledge on how to save you. Both want you to protect a magical artifact pursued by enemy forces, implying that the loss will be everyone's doom. Oh, they've got a weird grudge with one of the world's factions. That's probably fine. They keep talking to you in dreams. All the time. That seems totally normal. Play along with their worldview. Your buddies. Hell, they may even call you a friend. Maybe you remind them a bit of themselves. Refuse to play nice? The master manipulator mask snaps off. No longer appealing to your humanity, they out their exact plans to you in a remarkable display of hubris. Oh. The truth is out, and they're nothing like who they said they were. They have a whole heroic story and downfall that predates you, and they told you none of it. That their friendships' partnerships tend to end really, really poorly, to the point of having betrayed and or murdered their former loved ones and allies? Regardless of personal feelings, we need to stop the terrible hive mind entity before it can infect all living beings. Other reasons to list off. They're both prideful mothers, prone to being pawns to higher forces, can try and sleep with the player character to everyone else's disapproval. Strong non-binary energy. Strong themes of personal autonomy. Bald. 